Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs. Anything from digital to physical. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com. Back again with another one. I'm going to try to make today's video real quick. And we're going to let this thing stitch out. I'm probably not even going to give you guys the steps. We're just going to watch it all together. I think I said this in the last video. But I've noticed that once I actually put the serial number on the program, instead of using my other computer with the, you know, the full serial number, it actually is recognizing the appropriate colors for our design here. You guys probably can't see it up close, but if you guys could help me though, something I am trying to figure out is why when I go into my little folder, it's just showing the name of the file and sometimes it'll show like the actual pictures i forget how to load it to register the images i did it the first time but i forgot exactly what i did so if you guys have a quick answer for me drop a comment below let me know exactly what i need to click on to get it to where i can see each of the images for my files instead of just the names for them let's go ahead and get started though we do have our five and a half inch magnetic mighty hoop we'll go ahead and load this in again i did make sure to do the uh, maintenance on my machine I did the daily and the weekly maintenance today because they were both, you know, lighting up. So I guess I need to do both of them. We'll just verify the colors are set. We, so we have our placement tack down, uh, black, white, and black for the border. And it's set on 800 stitches a minute. I think I'm going to go ahead and speed that up to 900 and we'll see how it goes. tack down we're gonna hit the green button to do the tack down let me go ahead and cut this out and we'll continue right after y'all see it or maybe you don't there it is we'll go ahead and pop it right back in While the stitch out is going, I just wanted to ask you guys a question or see if I'm just the unlucky one that this happened to. So this little applicator bottle for the oil that you use to oil your machine daily, uh, well this thing broke. So uh, Noco, if you guys see this video and you guys would like to provide me with a new thing for the oiler, that would be much appreciated because again, I haven't even had it that long and the thing kind of just broke off. Uh, when I attempt to squeeze the oil out, it just leaks out of the side instead of coming out of the tip. So what I had to do to avoid this oil from being all wasted, I had to put it into a different applicator bottle. However, the tip of this applicator bottle is like, it's not too big, but I guess it does definitely put out a little bit more oil than what I need. So one drop of this is uh, like five drops of this, but I don't know. So if y'all want to help me out with that, Melco, if you, if you just so happen to be watching, I could use a different uh, applicator bottle to maintain the life of my machine. Y'all could even see it right there on the rack. With it just even sitting right there, it's already leaking out of the bottle. So that's why we're forced to use that applicator bottle right there. But back to the project. Y'all see it's doing a fill in. It's going to fill. It says we got 12 minutes to go. So that would definitely uh, change. Because a minute ago, I believe it said it was going to take 20 minutes. And now it's already at 12 minutes. And it hasn't been 8 minutes yet, I don't believe. Unless I've been talking too damn much. But y'all see it. Let this part continue and I'll check back with you guys once it's uh, completely filled in with the main part of the design. Right, so I'll fill all in with the base color of the uh, background being black. Now we're just going to put in some words at the bottom. Then we're going to go for the fit. Again, I think this magnet is affecting the uh, blurriness on this camera. So I'm trying not to get it too close.
Alright, so it looks like we got five minutes left on the clock. So far it's coming out good. Get the details in there. I'm going to have to cut the little sticks on the, uh, the O sticking out right there. And outside of that, looks like it's going good. I can't wait till it gets to the, the teeth part. I want to see how that ends up stitching out when it does those teeth. I know the camera again doesn't want to focus, but I think it might be time for me to do a new camera. What y'all think? Yeah. I'm nervous, but you could definitely tell those the teeth, right? Looking good. Think the same, make sure I hit the thumbs up button for the kids. Drop a like, a comment, share the video, and place the order on neverbeenani.com. Just fill out the form and I got you. Put a border on it and we're done. I'm so happy about the upgrade of this machine. It's so cool. All I gotta do is just hold the camera now and watch it stitch out. I had to lower my tone there. It's cool. I just gotta watch the camera now and watch it stitch out because I don't have to sit there and change the threads multiple times. Even if it's the same colors, if you have to stitch a black thread, a white thread, then go back to white, I have to change it every single time on my previous machine. And now everything is set. If you guys are interested in getting a machine just like this, or any machine as a matter of fact, contact me my information is going to be down below and uh, we're going to get you guys set up with a machine and we're going to all learn this process together again if you guys actually want to also learn how to digitize i got a course for that as well and i'm going to be adding more videos to the course specifically like i guess training on this machine make sure you guys stay tuned for that so we're all done this is what it's looking like i'm gonna go ahead and pop it out package it up and here's the results of today's stitch out up close guys check out the details especially on them teeth man i like it hopefully the customer likes it as well hopefully you guys like it as well and of course business card booming in the back side i'm about to upgrade this too check out what i do with this next Peace.